So in the last video, we talked about referencing data in another worksheet, which was, you know, we're referencing something that's simply in the same workbook, but it's just on a different sheet. This time we're going to reference a cell that's in a different workbook. So it's in a totally different file than what we're working in. So we're going to open a second workbook. So we've got this one we've been working on. It's got some totals from different years. Uh, last time we created average of electricity from information on expense details. We just carried it over to our summaries page. This time, we're going to go grab information from a different workbook. And I'm going to open that workbook real quick. For those in my class, this is called 04 Budget 2016. So this is a totally different file. If you can tell, I've got both files open in different windows. And this is the 2016 expense summary. Same kind of thing, but it's just for a different year. So we're going to go back to our original, back to my 04 budget cell references, the one we were working in on the last video. And this time we're going to on the summary sheet, we're going to go to cell C3. So C3. What's our rent? What was our 2016 total rent? And if we go to, let me go back to my other. We look at C3. We know what our rent is. Total for the year. Okay, and it wants us to you know, use the value in B3. Let's jump back over to here. We're going to type it in manually. So we always start a formula with equals. And it's like the last video. We just have to tell it what, first of all, what workbook to go find. Second of all, what worksheet within that workbook to use, and then the cell reference on that worksheet. So we're just adding one step. We're adding the workbook. Last time we used just the worksheet name. This time we're also going to use the workbook name. So we're going to type in we're going to put a we're going to start with the parentheses. Then we're going to put a bracket, a square bracket, not a curly bracket, but a square bracket. We're going to put 04, so the name of our file, 04 budget 2016 dot xlsx. We have to tell what extension it is so, we, so it can go find the correct file because there could be multiple files named the same thing. So we close our square bracket. Now we tell it what page or what spread, what uh, sheet to use, the name of the sheet. So work, worksheet name, which is summary. We end that with a explanation point. And then we say B3, that's our cell reference. And then we can close our parentheses. And all we're doing is we're just referencing it. We're not actually doing any kind of calculation. So we're not putting a divide in. We're not putting a multiply in. We're not putting a um, addition or anything like that. We're just simply going and retrieving that number. So if we hit enter, we should come up with the value of $13,200. And if we double click, we can see our formula and it seems to have worked and went and grabbed a number 13,200 we can go back and check it and go over here what is our number 13,200 we are correct